Alrighty, we've got Geometry Section 1.4, Monitoring Progress Number 9. It's 9. We're supposed to find the area again. That's 9. Find the area of F, G, H, J. And you'll notice that F and G have the same Y coordinate, which means they're directly across from each other, left, right. And H and J also have the same Y coordinate, negative 1 there, and they're directly across from each other. Uh, notice that F and J have the same X coordinate, which means they're directly on top of each other. And G and H also same X coordinate. This is going to be a rectangle. So let's see, there are our four points. So again, uh, we don't have to use the distance formula to find these lengths. We simply have to, well, essentially count spaces, but to show our work, we are going to calculate FJ as the absolute value of the difference, that means subtraction, kids, the difference between the coordinates that, well, basically aren't the same. And the same for FG. We're gonna calculate the difference, the absolute value of the difference between the X coordinates, because the Y coordinates are the same. So in this case, we find that FJ, that's our base, is 4 and FG, that's our height, is 3, or we could say length and width, same thing. Our formula is area equals base times height. Base is 4, height is 3, so our total area is 12 units squared. And notice, it's units squared. Area is measured in 